Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. I want to pour a bowl again because I, I love this form, this um, geode rough and tough uh, tray mold from Molds and Shapes. So yeah, I'm starting introducing my colors. I use the mystery blue and the red bead from Octopus and mixed them till I had a purple color. Then there's my white. I used here the um, pigment drops in white from Etta Art, then a pearl mica, um, you see it there. And I added to my white mix the Caribbean. It's also an alcohol ink from Octopus and it's quite opaque. And for my clear, I just added a tiny eensy little bit um, of the snowdrop. It's a shimmer from Laura's Art Corner and my center will be glass stones. So I'm starting practically with the blooming um, flower or blooming stone technique from courses.com. And I'm quite curious what I can achieve um, in such a big mold. So I always um, like the challenges to um, use different molds, different size molds and just see what you can achieve. And even though if it's not the original effect, I don't mind. I just love to play around with um, resin. So my first layer is done with the shimmer, the snowdrop shimmer from Laura's Art Corner. For this pour, I'm using um, the Ultracast resin. And now I'm just using my mixture of the resin ink. And it looks a little bit like the shadow, um, just a tiny bit, but um, yeah, a little bit lighter. So I mixed my own tone with the two different resin inks and I'm just pouring along the rim till all my mixture is gone. Yeah, I'm scraping the cup because it, it was um, mixed up resin, which I uh, divided into different cups. And there I don't see any problem if I just um, take my popsicle stick and scratch out my, my cup. So, and now I'm using my bluish white mix. I did um, the same color scheme with my um, one of my last pours. That was the Blooming Stone and I love this color combination so much so I thought I'd do it again and you see now I'm pouring my bluish whitish tone just on top of my purple tone. So the pouring itself it's it's really not complicated. Yeah I'm going around 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 till my white is um, gone and I noticed I didn't mix it proper. Do you see those white traces? So I hope it doesn't affect the whole effect later because this would be really annoying. And now I'm taking the rest of my shimmer clear resin and um, I'm filling up my mold. I'm quite careful doing this. Normally for the Blooming Stone technique, um, Mica from ResinCourses.com is using uh, high viscosity resin, which is also fast curing resin, but I don't have this. And I thought, try what you can achieve with the Ultracast. So now my clear is practically in my mold. And yeah, then I can just let the resin do its magic. I'm helping a little bit with the um, heat gun because um, I want the center to be closed. So if you see the heat gun, you know why I'm doing this. quick torch here always be careful using the torch and also using the heat gun just do it gently 
And now you can see a time lapse where you can see how the resin is moving. And you can see, you know, toward the center at the sides that there are traces from my pigment drops because I really didn't stir this um, cup well enough. I really, really hope it doesn't um, affect my design. But we, we just need to wait and see. So I always love those time lapses when you can see what the resin is doing, how it's moving. So I'm only adding my glass stones and then it's time for demolding. <laughs> no, I let it cure like for 12, 12 or 13 hours. And it became really already quite solid. So, yeah. But first have a look before um, I struggle forming my bowl. Yeah, look at that. I actually love the white bit at the edges. Um, because you have these hints of the purple color. And yeah, I just needed to take the mold away and get my bowl. But you see the veining of the web effect. It's very, very beautiful. I love this. This piece has a lot of depths. And then with the shimmer, with the snowdrop shimmer, it's beautiful. And now you see my struggle putting this into my um, bowl. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to use the heat gun to um, heat my resin up. I also didn't want to put it into warm water. So I'm just fighting and struggling with my piece, but I'm the winner at the end. And um, yeah, my tray goes into the bowl and it can rest until it shapes to a bowl as well, until it's hardened enough. So, and this is another 12 hours later and I can get it out. You see, this time, no struggle. I can get it out easily. And look at the wanings. Look at this awesome effect. The shimmer, the glass crackles. And yeah, it has so much depth and I really love this. And with this piece, I love and leave you for now. With the end result, there's going to be a video like normal. I just say goodbye and thanks for watching. Take care, guys. Bye bye.